Carlos, it's great to see you. Likewise. Okay. Good to okay. meet you. I love the hairstyle. It's quite funky, isn't it? Thank you. <laughs> Well, I've actually been doing art since I was a little kid. And um, I know it's probably rare for most people to, to know what they want to do as a child. But I, I think I, I've known since I was a, a child that I've always wanted to do something um, in the arts field, or something creative. OK. Did your talent show through as a child? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. With uh, both music and art, actually. Oh, really? You're a musician as well? Yeah, so I grew up um, playing instruments. I played drums. I played uh, trombone, and, and um, I was dabbling a little bit in music production before I um, started pursuing my art full time. Oh wow! Okay. All right. So, do you still fall back on on music sometimes for fun or for yeah, yeah calm down to relax? Sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I'm trying to get back in, into it a little bit more. Okay. Mind you, art is quite relaxing anyway, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Actually, I didn't. Um, just like just the, the regular um, art classes you take in, in grade school. But um, I didn't go to, I actually went to college for music. Um, and right now, I'm, uh, I just went back to college for art. So I'm getting my first formal training like right now. Oh, wow. See, that means you're going to get even better than you are now. Yeah. I can't imagine <laughs> that. I hope so. <laughs> oh, wow. That's brilliant. I've done exhibitions all over the um, United States. Um, the farthest I've gone, I actually have work right now in South Africa, the Nelson Mandela Metropolitan Museum of Art. Wow. My work has traveled all the way to uh, to Africa. That's the, the farthest. That's fantastic. Have you got any in the UK yet? Um, I have some with some collectors in the UK, but not in any uh, exhibitions yet. Oh wow! I had um, I actually have uh, two art artist residencies coming up. One in France and then one in one in London. Oh, you're kidding! Okay, <laughs> well, when you come to London, you know what you need to do. Oh, yeah. See your artwork. Perhaps we, should oh, yeah. on, perhaps we should put on an event for you, actually. Oh, that would be nice. Get some British artists to come and meet you and anybody else is interested in art. Absolutely. That would be nice. When are you coming? Do you have the dates? Uh, the date? I don't have the date for the London one just yet, um, but they'll both be um, during the summer of uh, 2021. All right. Well, let's hope we've got... We got over the uh, pandemic by then. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would be amazing for you to come to London. Have you been to London before? I have not. But it was on my bucket list. Oh, <laughs> OK. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's many, many artists. Um, one of my favorites um, is Carrie James Marshall. Uh, I like his work a whole lot. Um, Kadir Nielsen. Um, who else? Frank Morrison. There, there's a lot of people. I can I can list a, a million names. <laughs> okay. Many artists. Okay. I'm lucky to have many many artists around me. A lot of um older artists too to you know, give me tips and advice. Uh -oh. oh, that's brilliant. Do you teach any classes? I don't actually. Uh, people always ask me that. Um, I have uh, mentored before, so I, I, I think I prefer to mentor um, students, maybe like one-on-one -on -one versus uh, teaching like a, a big class. But I have um, um, visited different uh, schools here, different middle schools, elementary schools to share like my work and my process. Okay, okay. All right. Now, in terms of uh, how you sell your art, would you say that most of your business comes for your original art or your prints? I actually don't. Um, I don't even make as many prints, actually. So most of my business is, um, thankfully, from original art. I know that's hard for a, a lot of artists to do, but yeah, I sell a lot of my original art. Oh, wow. 
And your paintings are quite big. I can see the one behind you. It's almost as big as you. Oh, yeah. That, that one is actually bigger than me. And oh. um, yeah, I do uh, murals as well. So those get even, even larger. <laughs> yes, yes. So what's the price for your paintings then? Um, it just depends, like, normally on the size, like how, how big it is and, you know, details yeah. and all that stuff. What's the smallest size you would paint? Um, the smallest size now, mm, maybe like a, let me see what I have over there, like a 14 by 18 or, I mean, I can go down even, even smaller. It just depends on what it is. Okay, and you do commissions? Yes. Okay. Sometimes. <laughs> okay, yeah, all right. Does anybody else in your family paint? Um, not that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, I actually, I think I get my artistic abilities from my mom. Um, she um, grew up being able to draw and stuff, but she never really pursued it. Um, she, she's a, a lawyer now, um, but she, she, she has the talent, but she didn't... Um, you know, pursue it for a career or anything. Okay. My um my daughters, they're they're into art as well. Oh right. Are you teaching them? Yeah, I'm trying to. Yeah. Oh yeah. How old are they? Um my oldest, she turns nine actually on the twenty seventh of this month. And then my youngest daughter uh just turned five in September. Well, they're probably inspired by you because they see you painting all the time and they think, oh, that looks like fun. We want to do this. Oh, yeah. They, they're always around. <laughs> okay. Okay. So are they painting on their little bits of paper while you're painting? Sometimes. My, my youngest daughter, she's more interested in, in drawing and painting than my oldest daughter. She likes to build things. So oh. anything, sculpture or uh, collage, things like that. Okay, okay. Well, that's really good. It's good to yeah. see what it's good to see what you're doing, and you, you've got a really good Instagram. Okay, thank you. Thank Quite you. varied with your pictures and you know your family, and it's lovely. Mm -hmm. You have a lovely family, by the way. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, can you walk us through some of the pictures you have in your studio? Can you show us? Um, well, I, I'm actually in my home studio, uh, yeah. so like the, the garage slash studio. I have an actual studio um, also, but um, so I can show you this one. Let's see. Behind me is still a, a work in progress. I don't know if you guys can. Can you see that? Yeah, okay? yeah, I can see it clearly. It's lovely. Thank you. So this is actually... Um, a picture of one of my friends and his daughter that I'm working on. So I'm working on a, a new series, um, just showing black fathers with their children. I oh, feel like you know, see those kind of images a lot in, in artwork or like in the media. So I, I wanted to do a um, an, an exhibition of, around that around that idea. So that's brilliant. That's absolutely yeah. brilliant. Yeah, I have that one, and then. I don't know if you guys can see down here. Actually, can I see? Can I turn the camera around? Yeah, here sure, sure. Oh, it's just me. <laughs> there it is. So, yeah. All so right. the studio is normally been busy. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it's a mess, but you know this mess creates. Uh, yeah, mess. absolutely. Yeah. Looks like looks like art heaven to me. Oh yeah. <laughs> and um, here's some of the uh, I do these cans. So these are like old, old spray cans that um I've used. And so instead of throwing them away, I just repurpose them and I just paint on these. Okay. Making new art. Oh. Right. So people buy those from you? Yep. Okay. Right. That's different. Yeah, it's a, a creative uh, form of recycling. Uh -oh. Yeah, it is. Where did I go? There. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I think you, you've got some great work there. Do you put any of your work on merch at all, like T-shirts or hoodies and things? 
Um, not yet. I used to, but um, right now I'm trying to uh, get back into that and okay. create merch. Right, I'm starting off with these uh, cans, and then I'm trying to branch out a little bit. Okay. All right. All right. So, how far do you think you'll take your art? What, um, what's your dreams with your art? As far as it'll take me, um, I I know when I was growing up, I didn't um like I didn't know of a lot of uh, black artists like myself. So that's like my my main goal. I just want to be like the artist that I wish I, I had as a kid for like future generations. So hopefully, um, uh, some some future kids will see me in the art history book one day. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Oh my goodness. And I think it's great that you actually show us the different stages of your artwork as well, from when you start and then mm -hmm. like the one be behind you, and you know, then you show it when it's finished. I think that's brilliant. So thank oh, you yeah. for that. So do you do mainly painting or do you do uh, digi digital art as well? Um, it's mostly um, mostly just uh, painting. Okay, okay. So you don't do any digital any painting on on the computer. Uh, no, not so much, not so much. Oh, okay, okay. Old school. Yeah, yeah. That's the best, <laughs> that's the best. Well, well done. And it's really Thanks. lovely to see what you're doing. And please keep, keep it up. And uh, maybe we'll be able to uh, see you in action, painting, when you get to London. Oh, yeah, I will be there. I will be there. Okay, all right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for doing the interview. All right, thanks for having me. Yeah, and good luck with the rest of your art success. And uh, keep showing us what you're doing on Instagram. It's a really great window for you. Okay, thank you. I thank appreciate you. it. All right, bye. Bye-bye.